Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for attending today. Thanks to Sam Cedar for such a terrific reward. And uh, I'm very pleased to be involved with uh, a number of other great companies uh, in the area here. Um, WageWorks. So I thought I'd spend a little bit of time just talking about who we are. Uh, we are a leading provider of consumer-directed benefit programs to employers throughout the country. Consumer-directed benefit programs. Think of uh, flexible spending accounts, health savings accounts, uh, commuter benefits, things like that. We were founded in 2000, primarily at that time as a commuter benefit administrator for employees or employers, and then later on moved into the healthcare business in uh, the mid 2000s. The company went public in May of 2012. We're now traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol wage. We went public at a market cap of just under $300 million. If you fast forward to today, not quite three years later, we have a $2 billion market cap. And I'm very pleased about that and because uh, 1,597 employees that I'm representing here today really make that success happen. We work today with over 4 million employees throughout the country providing uh, administrative benefits and, and uh, technology to support their pre-tax uh, benefits and how they use them. We're a provider of choice. Uh, it was mentioned earlier that we had 58 of the Fortune 100. We had a good sales month. We're now up to 60 of the Fortune 100 that we work with on a daily basis, 47% of the Fortune 500, and over 45,000 clients in total. We're a recurring revenue business, and we're very proud of our retention rate, which is just under 97% uh, each year. As I mentioned, we're a leader in the consumer-directed benefit space. We're a provider of on-demand tax advantage benefit programs to employers really of all sizes. Health and dependent care programs, like I mentioned earlier, flexible spending accounts, health savings accounts, health reimbursement arrangements, usually set up by employers with wellness incentives. We're the dominant player in our industry in the commuter benefit space, both transit and parking programs. We do some COBRA work for employers along with other pre-tax benefits, tuition reimbursement, gym reimbursement, things like that. The great thing about our business is it's a win-win proposition for both the employer and the employee. Every pre-tax benefit dollar that an employee elects to put into a health savings account or a flexible spending account or a commuter benefit means that that employer doesn't have to pay payroll tax on that dollar. So it's about an eight cent savings. So these are really some of the only benefits that employers offer that actually pay them back. And obviously, the win part for the employee is they get to use those dollars to pay for their commute and parking or transportation to work, or more importantly, for um, out-of-pocket health care expenses, dental expenses, vision expenses that people incur every year. I tell people all the time, you know, if you think about the products that we offer, and I gave you a card at the beginning of the year, a WageWorks pre prepaid healthcare debit card. If you were told to use that card at a grocery store, and every time you use that card at the store, you got 35% off your bill, you'd use that card. Similar concept with out-of-pocket healthcare expenses with regard to um, the accounts that we administer. We have an industry-leading position as really the only provider with a scalable, integrated, proprietary platform that, as I mentioned, serves over 4 million employees throughout the country today, work with 45,000 employer clients, and as I said, our prepaid healthcare debit card is issued and used by about 4.5 million people in the U.S. today. The company we keep. If you think of industry sectors throughout, um, uh, throughout the business world today, we work with basically headline companies in each particular sector. Many people that are here today are clients of ours. So first, let me stop and say thank you to each one of you. As I tell our employees every day, we need you much more than you need us. And that's the service philosophy under which we operate. So you look at some of the headline companies there, uh, and again, employers of all sizes, whether you have five employees or 500,000 employees, uh, we work with them on a day-to-day -day basis. And why do people use WageWorks? 
Well, there's really four key components on why we've been successful. First and foremost, I talked about us being a service company. And you know, we operate with a culture that demonstrates a sense of urgency to our client base. And when I talk about service at WageWorks, service at our company starts at eight o'clock every morning with our daily management huddle. I get on the phone with my senior leadership team and all client-facing personnel. And what do we do? We review any business issues or escalations from our clients the day before. And if there are any, we assign ownership and accountability on that call to an individual and then call on that individual every day until that issue is resolved. The second thing we do is we monitor our, our metrics under which we have uh, performance levels that we commit to our client base. So we commit to quarterly and monthly service levels that we manage on a day-to-day -day basis. That's allowed us to make the key service levels that we provide to our clients every month since May of 2007. So service is very key to what we do. Second, technology and innovation. If you think about these products, whether it's a flexible spending account or a health savings account, many people in this room have had them. You can remember years ago having to fax in receipts and mail in receipts and get checks in the mail. Well, everything that we do from a technology standpoint really has to be innovative. We really focus on how do we make the participant experience better than it was before, and how does what we do help us to continue to become more competitive from a cost standpoint? We were the first one to introduce a card. So instead of getting those little $14 checks in the mail, you could use a card to pay for out-of-pocket healthcare expenses. Employees liked that because there was no cash out of pocket. We were the first to introduce online claims. So instead of mailing or faxing this information in, you could go to your PC at home, we'd provide a pre-populated screen, you could scan and upload your receipts directly to us. We were the first to introduce mobile technology. We were the first to introduce a mobile app where now we ask people every time they use one of their accounts to simply take their smartphone, take a picture of that receipt, upload it to us, and then if that transaction ends up requiring further documentation, we'll simply go to your account, scroll through the photographs, match the receipt to the photograph and adjudicate that transaction and pay that claim at that particular point in time. Therefore, we don't have to reach out and ask for those receipts, which can be a burdensome problem. That wins us business in the marketplace. Technology and innovation, very key to what we do. Industry leadership. When the Affordable Care Act was being negotiated in 2009, we were at the forefront in Washington. Myself and my chief compliance officer had over 120 in-person visits on Capitol Hill to make sure that people understood the value of the products that we support on behalf of employees. If you think about flexible spending accounts, there's probably 35 to 40 million of those in, in, in uh, service today. The average salary of an individual with a flexible spending account is $55,000. So these are really key benefits that are used by middle class workers to pay for what's increasing every year in out of pocket healthcare expenses. We were also involved in, especially with flexible spending accounts, many of you will remember the biggest problem and why people didn't take advantage of the product was because of that burdensome use it or lose it rule. If you didn't spend all your money in a given year, you lost it at the end of the year, it reverted back to the employer. Well, we worked with uh, Congress and Treasury once the Affordable Care Act was passed, and in October of 2013, uh, we were instrumental in getting Treasury to implement a $500 carryover that is now in effect on flexible spending accounts. But whether it's a flexible spending account, a health savings account, commuter benefits, we're very heavily involved in Washington and throughout the US in making sure that these accounts are promoted and protected. And then finally, consumer engagement. Simply said, more people, more employees at a company take advantage of these products when you work with WageWorks than any of our competitors in the industry. Why is that? Because we really spend a lot of time and effort educating people on the value of these products, on the fact that if you don't take advantage of a flexible spending account today, you're leaving $500 of pre-tax money on the table each year. Now that the carryover provision's in place, all of us should have at least $500 set aside in a flexible spending account to pay for out-of-pocket health, vision, dental expenses each year. If you don't, you're leaving the money on the table. 
and we go above and beyond to educate and make sure people are aware of uh, the value of these products. And so far, if you look at the percentage of eligibles that take advantage of our products, we're head and shoulders above those in the industry today. So service, technology and innovation, industry leadership, and consumer engagement are probably four key pillars that have helped our company be successful over the last several years. So again, I wanted to say thank you to Sam Sita. We're very honored to uh, be presented with this award today and look forward to continuing growth and being a part of the San Mateo community. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.